Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site, we have Rodin Monroe. He's the CEO of Carry Club. Welcome back. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you. Very interesting what you have going on at Carry Club. You are matching young professionals with organizations and boards. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we're working with a, a lot of amazing companies. They are interested in getting their young professionals involved in philanthropy. Uh, and we facilitate that match. So some of our clients are firms like Morgan Stanley and Deloitte and Citigroup, KKR, TPG, and really they, they see the value in like offering this opportunity to their employees to get involved philanthropically. Right, and it's great that it's with young professionals because it also offers a different perspective. Um, so my question to you is how do you make an impact when you're on a board? Right, so um, certainly like as a young professional, like you won't be able to like write the like massive checks as like some of their like bigger mm -hmm. players in the uh, uh, philanthropy the philanthropy space, but like one of your biggest advantages is that you have access to networks, you're much more agile with social media, and you could really play an instrumental role, instrumental role in like helping to spread awareness about the organization, be an ambassador at your mm -hmm. company, and, and really like help it grow. All right, now how about tax reform impacting charitable giving? Now that there's ceilings on um, how much you can actually deduct, there is a concern um, with, within that space that there could possibly be a decline. Why should we look beyond just tax incentives? I think that fundamentally, we are, have always been a country that, uh, that's been all about philanthropy, all about giving back. That's such a core to our DNA that, um, the, tax, that the tax policy is certainly um, not helpful, but it will, it, Americans will still get involved. They'll still give back. And in fact, we know that in New York City, about like 80% of the com companies, most of them are like global Fortune 500 companies are actually planning on either increasing or uh, maintaining the level of uh, money that they plan to give back next year. Right. I mean, I, I think if you're at that level of being able to um, donate that much, it shouldn't make that much right. of an impact anyway. It's almost like if you can afford a $300,000 Ferrari, are you really that concerned with how right. much an insurance premium is going to be? Right. Right. It's seriously, it's like, yeah, it's like not a thing. And like, honestly, in the long run, the value add that you could is it, so much like greater and so much like outweighs mm -hmm. like whatever tax incentive that you might be able to get um, for in terms of like brand value and you just like finding something that you care about and like doing good and like making the world a better place. I think that you could never take that away without regardless of your tax policy. Right, and I think that's a um, a big initiative, particularly for young professionals. Um, let's go back to Carry Club. What are you looking forward towards in 2019? Because you had a really busy. 2018 signing on a, a lot more partners and yeah. support. <laughs> yeah, it's been a great year for us. Uh, we've added um, 20 corporate clients, uh, and now for them, now that they've seen how well things worked out in New York, they're looking to expand into other cities because they have employees in all these other um, um, regions. And so a big push for us is to get more clients, uh, get more employees uh, involved in our platform in other cities across America. Some of the major ones are obviously on the list, like Chicago and mm -hmm. Boston, D.C., San Francisco. Um, but there's like a list of 30 companies, uh, 30 cities that we're going to launch into next year. So, and, and if you're a young professional, you want to get involved um, with boards and with philanthropy, just hook up with you on social media or on yeah. the website, and then and you, you foster and, and help them build this? Yeah, absolutely. So you just sign up to, you go to carryclub.com. Uh, you request an invite and we'll help you with the process to make sure that you get access to our platform. Uh, and, and we are obsessed with like helping you find an organization that is uniquely aligned with what you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, we were not trying to prescribe anything to you. We just really want to help you find an organization that aligns with the causes and missions that align with, with you. It sounds like it's a great networking opportunity as well. It is. It really is. And that, that the ancillary benefit of being on the board is certainly that. And the way that I see it, I think that it's good that a young professional is getting um, a value beyond the feeling of like doing good um, from being on a board. Because ultimately, the way that I would like things to progress is that like the people who care about making an impact are the ones who are getting the advantages for career advancement mm -hmm. and thus are able to make a much greater impact because they're much more successful professionally. Pay it forward, right? Exactly, yeah. Right, well thank you so much for joining us at MarketSite. Thank you. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.